Okay, uh, my name is John Abraham. I'm the uh, convener of the Pharmaceuticals and Society module um, in the Department of Social Science, Health and Medicine. Um, I'm here to tell you a little bit about the course. Um, the course begins by looking at the historical development of the pharmaceutical industry, how it evolved from small-scale uh, shops to the modern large-scale scientific laboratories that we see in the uh, pharmaceutical industry today. Um, having put the pharmaceutical industry in some historical context, we then look at some of the fundamental uh, workings of, of the industry and the sector. So for example, we look at um, how drugs are developed, um, the nature of pharmaceutical innovation, the types of markets that pharmaceutical companies uh, aim for and the, the nature of those markets in relation to various kinds of drugs. Um, and then we also look at uh, the role of things like patents uh, and intellectual property rights within the pharmaceutical sector and uh, the role of commercial secrecy in the nature of drug development and indeed the science that is associated with it. Um, alongside the development of the industry then we also have um, efforts by the gov governments around the world to regulate the activities of the industry and these have particularly come about after various um, kinds of problems with safety of drugs uh, uh, in the past. Uh, but as a consequence, we have a, a number of regulatory systems and regulatory bodies that attempt to control the industry. So we look at the nature of those regulatory systems. How do they um, relate to the industry? What's the relationship between regulators in, in the state and the industry? Um, and how effective the regulatory system has been in, in, in attempting to make the industry produce drugs that are uh, safe and effective and indeed in the interests of public health more generally. Um, we then go on to look at uh, ways in which uh, there is a, a medicalization and a pharmaceuticalization within society. This is the process by which various kinds of social or behavioral conditions become labelled as medical conditions and then subsequently um, subjected to pharmaceutical treatment. So in this, in this uh, aspect of the course we're looking very much at the role of diagno diagnosis and diagnostic criteria um, and also the role of the medical profession um, in bringing about uh, increased medicalisation and pharmaceuticalisation. And the role of the pharmaceutical industry of course in that is, quite, is very important. Um, after looking at that, we go on to look at some controversies um, within the pharmaceutical sector, controversies about drug safety um, and the social and political dynamics of those controversies. What are the key, who are the key stakeholders? What are the key interests at stake? Um, and how do they play out whenever assessments are being made about whether um, drug products are safe uh, and, 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 and in the interests of patients? and low and risks and so on. Um, as well as that, we're concerned with um, things like the cost effectiveness of pharmaceuticals. So we also look at uh, the issue of what sort of uh, cost pharmaceuticals have for healthcare systems, how pricing is set for pharmaceuticals, and um, how decisions are made about how effective drugs are and what sort of therapeutic advances they uh, give rise to relative to other medicines that are already on the market. And these are very important because pharmaceuticals are often a very expensive part of healthcare budgets. Um, we also take quite a close look at things like the nature of clinical trial designs, what they tell us about how well uh, drugs offer therapeutic advance over existing treatments. And we also look at things like surrogate measures of clinical efficacy. Things like lowering of cholesterol is, a, is, for example, a surrogate measure of effectiveness to reduce heart attack and stroke, but it is not in itself um, uh, a, clinical, a clinical effect. Um, we also then go on to look at uh, the globalization of standards uh, for the safety and effectiveness of medicines. Uh, the internationalization of, their, of various regulatory systems um, and how these are affecting 
the nature of the pharmaceutical sector, um, how they're affecting the costs and access to, uh, to drugs. Um, in particular, we look at the role of patient activism around things like AIDS, uh, access to essential medicines like AIDS drugs, and we look at how patient activism and patient advocacy organisations are influencing both the development of drugs and the regulation of pharmaceuticals. Um, and here we also look at things like uh, what we call the patient industry complex, the relationship between patient organisations and pharmaceutical companies. Um, and finally, the course looks particularly at the problem of access to essential medicines in poorer countries. And this goes back uh, almost full circle to the whole issue of patents, intellectual property rights and the pricing re uh, regimes that dictate how much pharmaceuticals cost to healthcare systems and patients and whether or not they can actually afford those costs. Um, and ultimately, all these aspects of, of the course are informed by the question, how well do pharma does pharmaceutical development and regulation meet the demands and interests of public health?